Hello Sagittarius, how are you doing? Welcome into your weekly Love Tarot reading from the 13th of September, the week of the 13th of September. Before we start, I'm going to burn some herbs so that we can get the space that I was working in cleared of all the previous readings that I've done and as well calling your spirit guides using these herbs as well to tell them that the reading has begun and to share and to give us the message that they want to give us. So let's get started. Also to guide us as well, give us advice. At the end of this reading, I am going to get an outcome for you with regards to a love situation. Um, we are going to be looking at your person's energy and your energy. So we're going to have your person here. We're going to have you here because this is a general reading. Do know that... Um, uh, you can reverse those energies. So if you want, if you feel this is more you, you can then swap it around and put them on this side. But let's go. Let's see, Sagittarius, what is going on for you guys? Let's see what's going on with whomever you're thinking about right now. What is happening with my Sagis out there with regards to love? Let's see your person's energy. Darker spheres. Whew. I, what's happening? What did you do to somebody? Ah, uh, this is a breakup. This is about a breakup. Um, it's somebody who's living in their darkest fears right now. This is Nine of Swords energy. Okay, so it talks about uh, sitting up and getting worried at night, thinking, overthinking. Uh, I feel I'm gonna put this one out there that somebody's darkest fears has come true. Okay, and yeah, is the Five of Pentacles which talks about that feeling alone, but it also talks about a loss of stability with regards to a relationship that has already taken place. Okay, I feel like this has already happened. I mean, if this is a connection that's ongoing right now, um, this person is terrified there's about to be a breakup. I'm just saying. Um, for Sagittarius, honestly, I remember almost all your readings hey, in the beginning of 2021 were like this kind of energy. This can be a breakup that happened a while ago, and this is what's going on in this person's energy now. Okay, so if you had a breakup run about like, I picked it up a lot, March, April, May, June, Ooh, especially when we had that, I think it was, was it full moon eclipse or new or solar eclipse or some kind of eclipse. I remember in May and then we had it in June as well. It was Sagittarius and Gemini, solar eclipse or no, I think it was solar and new moon eclipse, something like that, full moon eclipse. Uh, it happened really hectically around that time so let's see this is you you got pentacles all over the place here and um, you're still figuring things out as you're moving forward it's literally the two of pentacles and the ace of pentacles so you are one you got a two um, honestly, if this is in your energy right now, I really feel like you're focusing on yourself here. I feel like you are focusing on your, your livelihood, your money, your stability, your career. Um, you've got strengthening bonds coming up there. I, I feel like your focus is on, on life. You know what I mean? On the beginning a new start for yourself. Even though you have this, you know, the need to find balance here. There could be some things with regards to your energy right now or your life that is a little bit out of balance and you're trying to put it into balance. And that's why you need that strengthening bonds energy. It's almost like, you know, it could be a bit of financial issues as well. Oh, welcome to 2021. Who doesn't have financial issues in 2021? Well, some people don't. Good for them. But most everybody that I've been picking up on has got oh, finances as a weird thing that's going up and down I think it's because of what happened in 2020 we're seeing kind of like a, a fallout that came out later um, and still what is happening now is causing this to happen as well um, but you're going to find this balance it's like holding on a little bit longer things are going to get sorted out and then you've got a very strong beginning that's coming in here so if there's anything with you with regards to like finances or stability of like life stability it's coming right okay so don't panic too much let's go into this person's energy i feel like you guys are not with each other you know why i'm saying that because as i'm talking about you here i feel like uh, energy of you being alone and and then it's even saying feeling alone on their side so i feel like there's a space between you and this person so let's look in let's go into their energy a little bit deeper and into yours and then we're going to get spirit guides take on how they see this what they seeing from their perspective and then an outcome as well let's see so stuff happened very quickly and very unexpectedly to this situation this could have been something that happened so fast they didn't even know really 
what to think of it. Um, very quick moving energy with the Eight of Inspiration, especially when you see the Eight of Inspiration, which is the Eight of Wands. All you need to know with this, a lot is happening. A lot of things were happening and everything sort of happened at once and very quickly. And to know what was happening is you must look at the cards around it. So let's see the breakup. Two of Cups. The separation happened very quickly. Um, it was unexpected. It wasn't something that they expected to happen. Um, it was the darkest fears come true. And now they got a lonely energy as well. They could be missing you. Let's look into your energy. Focusing on your life. There's your star card rocking up here. You're focusing on life here. Um, with the star card as well, it is Aquarius' energy. So this person could be an Aquarius or have very strong Aquarius placement here. Um, you're focusing on on your life you know what makes me say this i want to get the other card out as well figuring things out five of wands i do think you think about them sometimes with the five of wands and sometimes when you do think about them there is a bit of confusion um going on here like as to what you should do uh as you go forward but the main main energy here is you're focusing on what it is you want to have how you want to live your life with the star card coming in. Even as you look at the lady in the star card, you know, she's looking in this direction. So these are the things that you're looking at right now. You're literally looking at what I was talking about on top here. So you're looking in this direction. You're not looking in that direction. And even though you're looking at your life in general, you, the star card talks about um, achieving a goal or receiving something that is a dream come true. So you could be working on a goal here in your own life that you're trying to make come true. Um, it's something that you've been wanting for a very, very long time with the star card. And it's what you will make you happy. But at the same time, she's also looking at the five of wands. So it does tell me that there is moments that you think about this person and you wonder, you know, questions, question marks, like, should I maybe contact them? Or should I just carry on with my life? I feel like you're very focused on something else besides love. I just got to put that out there. But um, I do feel like you do wonder about them. So if you're a cross watcher and you're actually in the situation with a Sagittarius, do know that sometimes they're thinking and they do get a bit confused about what they should do or what should happen next between the two of you. Ooh, and we've got a card that flipped. So I'm going to take this card because I just saw it immediately. And this is what I was picking up on here. This is what's the perspective from spirit guides. Okay, from your spirit guides. Two of wands. I'm going to tell you what they're thinking. Um, so they're thinking, I'm moving forward without this person. Two of wands, two of cups. Okay, uh, two of wands talks about partnership. Two people moving forward, two people in life together. So they literally sitting there thinking, so this is it. Um, I'm moving forward in my life. I may never see this person again. I may never see Sagittarius again. And they may not like that. Okay. Because usually the two of wands talks about not really liking what's unfolding. And also, because it's in the reverse position, it's even like a decision that they're trying to work through in their own mind as well. What do I do? Do I do something about this? Do I not do something about this? What do I do now? So let's see what else comes up in their energy. King of Swords, there's their thought. Um... There's some kind of also, sometimes when I see the King of Swords, um, I always sometimes feel like there's a little bit of anger involved as well. They could be a little bit of their feelings hurt as well. They could maybe sometimes get angry with towards your energy because the King is literally looking towards the side. And that um, sword is up there. Even though they're feeling emotionally sad, they're feeling they're missing talking to you or being around you, the realization is there that perhaps the two of you will not be with each other ever again you know um at the same time there's a bit of anger there as to maybe why you did this to them or why did you take this decision kind of thing like there's a bit of anger there so yeah it's normal i think to feel that so let's look into you and there must have been a reason there must i feel like it's something that happened here um there was a breakup there must have been a deeper reason from your side uh you want to live the life of your dreams here you want you have an image of how you want to see your life to be and how you want to live on an everyday basis and if it, if being with this person wasn't creating that then that was why you made that decision so let's go a bit deeper death card the ending it's an ending that happened. There you go. Um, with the death card coming up, this is Scorpio's energy as well. Um, it's also not what you wanted. 
I don't feel like it is what you wanted as well. It was never what you wanted. Who who gets into a relationship with the intention of breaking up somewhere down the line? Nobody. But things happened here with this death card that you did not like. And that is what has brought up this breakup. There are things that occurred, there are situations that happened here that were not to your liking. It didn't match with what was happening with the star card, your dream, how you want to be, how you want to live your life. Um, it wasn't matching. It created, if you stayed in the situation, you will not be able to achieve the life that you want to have. So this person wasn't matching in some kind of way. And the wheel of fortune, whoa, you did what you did because you felt it was time. You felt this was like, yeah, you know, um, this could have been something that's been going on for quite some time. And you did what you did for your own well-being, for your own happiness as well. And, um, uh, you know, the Wheel of Fortune as well, it's an interesting energy because it talks about things that are fated. It talks about uh, the time is now for this to happen. And as I'm literally doing this reading, I'm looking up at my camera. And as I'm saying the time is now for this to happen, I literally saw 11, 11, 11 on my timer. Yeah. You might be seeing that a lot. You might be seeing 11, 11, 11, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 3, 3, 3, those kind of like angel numbers or numerology numbers, usually indicating stuff like the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you feel what you've done was right. Even though um, you do have a bit of, even with the Two of Pentacles and the in, Five of Inspiration, you do have a bit of doubt sometimes as to, you know, is it right? Is it something that I should have done? Or is it something that I shouldn't have done? But at the end of the day, I feel like you, actually um, uh, may have done the right thing but let's get an outcome card here for you guys out here let's get outcome are you and this person really over um, is there going to be something that reconnects you somewhere along the line or is this it let's have a look and see hmm, what's about to come up here mm, four of pentacles this is you I don't see you opening up to them again um, you got the pent two pentacles up here, and the uh, the only pentacle they've got is this five. I feel like it's because of what happened, how you close yourself to them. You got the four of pentacles, so you got a four, and you got a five of pentacles, okay? And you've got this one and two over there. So you see what I'm saying. I kind of feel like you, you're keeping yourself closed to them. Even though it's so interesting in this deck, the Four of Pentacles literally says open up. But the Four of Pentacles is not a card of opening up. The Four of Pentacles is protecting yourself. It's protecting your thoughts. It's protecting your heart. And it's protecting your foundation, your future, your goals and dreams, your stability. And I feel like you're still closed off to them for the foreseeable future, um, especially in this energy that we're reading right now. I want to get one more card out here. Let's look... Let's look into the rest of 2021. Will you still be closed off to them? I got to go and ask the funny questions. Hey? But I just felt like looking into it and seeing at this moment the energy is closed off. Will it remain closed off for the rest of 2021? Let's have a look and see. They are going to come in and you won't know what to do. And I've got a four pentacles under the deck again. Look at that. Literally under the deck. The same card has shown up here. I, I feel like they're going to come in. They're coming in with that offer, but you don't, you, your arms are folded. You're kind of like looking at what has already occurred here. This person is looking at those three cups, not at the offer. They're looking at the three cups. They're looking at what has already occurred, the history that has happened. And I don't feel like you like what's in those three cups. And the three cups that you're looking at um, is all that has occurred here. That made you make this decision. They are going to reach out to you. Maybe again. Okay. And um, I feel honestly you're going to remain closed off to them. With the four of pentacles being there. But there we go. Thank you so much Sagittarius for coming into your reading. Um, it means a lot to me that you guys watch. Hit the thumbs up button for me as well. Because it also helps my channel on YouTube to uh, get the videos out to more different people. So they can get the message as well. Um, subscribe if you want to so you don't miss a reading. Hit that no 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 notification bell. The readings do come out twice a week. So um, what else? Um, if you want 
want to follow me on any of my social media platforms, you can do so. I am on TikTok as well as Instagram as well. You can get to know who am I as well on Instagram. If you want to have a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me. There is an email in the description box below of the video. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm sending my love to you wherever you are in the world. Bye.